discovering possibilities and potential with passion every day. This is a TPPN production. This is God's Word, read by Tim Chatton. Genesis chapter 23. When Sarah was 127 years old, she died at Kirathaba, now called Hebron, in the land of Canaan. There Abraham mourned and wept for her. Then leaving her body, he said to the Hittite elders, Here I am, a stranger and a foreigner among you. Please sell me a piece of land so I can give my wife a proper burial. The Hittites replied to Abraham, Listen, my lord, you are an honored prince among us. Choose the finest of her tombs and bury her there. No one here will refuse to help you in this way. Then Abraham bowed low before the Hittites and said, Since you are willing to help me in this way, be so kind as to ask Ephron, son of Zahor, to let me buy his cave at Machpelah, down at the end of his field. I will pay the full price in the presence of witness. So I will have a permanent burial place for my family. Ephron was sitting there among the others, and he answered Abraham as the others listened, speaking publicly before all the Hittite elders of the town. No, my lord, he said to Abraham. Please listen to me. I will give you the field and the cave. Here in the presence of my people, I give it to you. Go and bury your dead. Abraham again bowed low before the citizens of the land, and he replied to Ephron as everyone listened. No, listen to me, I will buy it from you. Let me pay the full price for the field so I can bury my dead there. Ephron answered Abraham, My lord, please listen to me. The land is worth four hundred pieces of silver. But what is it that between friends? Go ahead and bury your dead. So Abraham agreed to Ephron's price and paid the amount he had suggested, four hundred pieces of silver, weighed according to the market standard. The Hittite elder witnesses witnessed the transaction. So Abraham bought the plot of land belonging to Ephron at Machpelah, near Mamre. This included the field itself, the cave that was in it, and all the surrounding trees. It was transferred to Abraham as his permanent possession in the presence of the Hittite elders at the city gate. Then Abraham buried his wife, Sarah, there in Canaan, in the land of Machpelah, near Mamre also called Hebron. So the field and the cave were transferred from the Hittites to Abraham for use as a permanent burial place. If you would like to leave feedback, you can do that by going and emailing me at the Possibilities Network at gmail.com. More information about this podcast and other podcasts can be found at tppn.tv. And until next time, this is Tim Chatton of the Possibilities Production Network, and you've been listening to God's Word.